So I would like to start with a very general questions concerning you, you as a person, because now I don't even see you. <laughs> as a child, what was your dream job? What did you figure out? What did you want to, to be then, back then? Uh, as a child? Yeah. Uh, in, originally, I was, I was obviously, like, like many children, I wanted to be a professional sports person, um, okay. which isn't always realistic. Um, but okay. when I started to sort of become a little bit more aware of <laughs> real jobs and the real world, um, I was always actually quite keen on education. Mm -hmm. um, I, I actually envisaged, my, envisaged myself as a teacher or working in education. They were sort of my dream jobs. Um, but yeah, now, now I think I am pretty close to doing my dream job, actually. But to become a scientist in the, in the proper sense of the word, when did this happen in your life? I think when I started my degree, my undergraduate studies, um, I got into the field of sport and exercise sciences um, with the intention of getting a job as a practitioner in, in sport and exercise science. Um, but as I sort of realized the, the scientific parts of the course and the scientific nature, I became more and more interested in the science and in research. Um, and then when I did my postgraduate qualification um, and then I moved on to do my PhD, um, I kind of caught the research bug, so to speak, and I became addicted to the sort of research side of things. Um, so I really engaged with the science and actually science as a career, mm -hmm. I would say, when I transitioned from my undergraduate to postgraduate studies. Uh, how would you define a scientist? Or you, um, from your viewpoint? I, I think some of, the, some of the things which define a scientist are asking questions, being critical, um, looking for answers, always looking for answers, um, and mm, often not finding the answers, finding more questions, mm -hmm. um, but, but somebody who asks who asks questions and then vigorously and method um, methodologically tries to, to answer those questions. Um, I think it's all about questions and, and providing answers. Did you have or have you any ideals or role models? Scientists, I mean, in this, or, or let's say mentors that came along your path? Yeah, in, specifically in my field, um, during, during my PhD, um, I was supervised by Professor Mike Gleason, mm -hmm. um, and that was a fantastic experience, and I learned such a lot from him, um, and he's an obvious role model for me. Um, and whilst I was doing my PhD, which was at Loughborough University, um, I also got to know a, a eminent um, professor in, in the field of sports nutrition and, and sports science, um, Professor Clyde Williams. And he was a massive role model and a massive inspiration for me. Um, he, he's, a, he's a fantastic scientist. Um, he was one of the original founders of sport and exercise sciences in the UK. Um, and he's world-renowned world and held in high regard, um, not just as a, as a fantastic scientist, but also as a fantastic person. And... So he's been a, uh, an exceptional role model for me. If you talk about a fantastic scientist, I mean, uh, can you outline this a little bit for me? Uh, I think, so starting with the, with the definitions that we spoke of a few moments ago about a scientist being somebody who, who is inquisitive, who asks questions um, and then goes about finding answers to those mm -hmm. questions. Um, but not just settling for the simple answer and not just settling for the easy option, but mm -hmm. also going beyond the, the simple answer mm -hmm. and trying to find the reasons and other reasons for the answers. So 
as well as looking at things holistically from a from a sort of whole perspective what actually happens but then actually following very precise methodological mm-hmm. procedures to actually then try and identify the specific mechanistic explanations mm-hmm. for the answers that they come to is it difficult nowadays in science because it's known that the quick answers are the ones often chosen are you free to work in a way uh, that it's giving you the time to also ask questions after question and not having the quick result for a publication? It, it, it's difficult. It is, it is very difficult. Um, obviously, funding is a major issue mm-hmm. um, and it's, it's quite difficult to access funds to undertake the research that you really want to undertake, certainly in my field. Mm-hmm. Um, it's really difficult. We don't align completely with many of the research councils, although we do. We do have a lot of overlap and a lot of mm. a lot of areas that do fit with with where research funding is available. Um, but it is quite difficult mm. to. It, it is quite difficult to often obtain funding for the sorts of, you know, the interesting research, the research that you really want to do. Um, and sometimes there are pressures from various places to actually do the simple stuff, get mm-hmm. a simple answer, get a quick publication. Um, but personally, I, I always try to keep time to really ask the interesting questions and, and find interesting answers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, here we are again. Hello, hiya. <laughs> <laughs> Got cut off there. May I ask you, what's your favourite book? Your favourite read? A sporting book or any... Any, any whatever any you want, whatever. Uh, whatever. Um, Life of Pi. Okay. I spell. Have you? Are you familiar with that book? No. It's Pi, spelled P-I, like the mathematical. Ah, symbol. P. It's in German. It's P. I understand. Yeah. It's about. That's my favorite book. Okay. The next one, your favorite movie. My favorite movie is The Fifth Element. Thank you. And your favorite music piece? Um, oh, that's a difficult one. Um, I don't know if I have a, a favorite single piece of music <laughs> because sure. I like so many different things depending on my mood. Okay, it's the same with um, me. Spontaneously for the time being. <laughs> um, I don't know. Um, I would say. Oh, I can't think of one. Um, I can't. I can't think of anything. So then I ask you an, an even easier question: just What's your favorite color? Thank you very much. Thank it, you. <laughs> <laughs> this is the, the end to give it a little more concrete aspect as well.